guess I was kind of hoping there might be something underneath it. I don't know why. I had no reason to believe there was. I get there from the other side. I'm suspicious that there might be something... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm suspicious that there might be something up in these rafters. Nothing on this side. Ooh, yeah! That's so satisfying to do. Health boost. Uh. Oh, there it is. Ah, 1% worse than what I've got. So, we got a named person to kill here, I think? For one of Arisha's people. Uh, and then we also need to go clear the clog. Let's go for the clog. Thought I heard something, something spawn. Mr. Clog, you've really let yourself go. Needs power. Water cooler procedures. Oh, we saw that item. No unique procedures required. If the item's form is different than any previously reported, then make a note describing the new form. The object's true shape and appearance are unknown. It has been known to take the form of the following objects. Ring of keys, lunchbox, wrench, microscope, stapler, glasses, mail tube, spoon. The item is uh, is able to adopt the physical form of items in its immediate vicinity. The item is capable of limited physical movement, repositioning itself whenever it changes form. This only occurs when it is unobserved, physically and digitally. Because of this, the transition between shapes has never been observed. Reciting formula... 1.14 I, I keep my brain breaks on those and I think is that an L are those L's capital I's or ones I think well no it can't be one because then 14 the one in that looks different than I don't know let's say L L14 or L32 causes the item to reveal itself by shuddering Item was initially discovered within the bureau itself. Whether an agent brought it inside, intentionally or otherwise, or it resided here prior to the bureau's arrival to the oldest house is unknown. Gross. I sincerely hope we never meet again. I don't think that's how I was supposed to solve that, but it worked. Hurry, 
Hooray for splash damage. We're certainly not done here, though. that to open this door to get two of them at a time. <laughs> nice. Oh, come on. Is that supposed to do something? I don't know. Would that have killed it if it was still there? No way. We're supposed to... No. No, no, no. Lock controlled remotely. Is there another one to power? Yeah, you're definitely meant to be able to get down there. Weird. It highlights like you can pick it up, the cord, but you can't. Yeah, I mean, that's plugged in. That one's plugged in. Maybe the other one does need to be in. In which case, let's get a power cube from out here, I guess. didn't do it. It's possible I just broke the order of the quest by doing what I did. Blowing it up. Yeah, I'm just giving up on that pump room. I, I think it's broken or something. I just went back to the janitor's place and just reminded once again of how much of a fin Ahti is looking at this painting on the wall and I instantly recognized what that is. That is absolutely a painting of one of their cottages. A cottage in Finnish is called Mekki. It's extremely common for Finnish people to have cottages like this by the water. Go there for like summer vacation, things like that. Energy converters. I bet there's a named one. Yeah, you're a named one that Arish wanted. Ah, there's Guy. They're fighting in there. Is that another of the named ones? Ooh, we can go in there now. Well, I'll come back. Hazard, yeah. for the help. Who do we have left? I think there's just like one more. Maintenance, Black Rock, Quarry. Oh, right. That whole huge place over on the west side. Let's see what's in here. Oh, 
amount of space. Oh. Couldn't get to that door from the other side, so it just unlocks there. Okay. I'm so excited to check out the quarry now. God, this place looks so cool, and it, it was obvious there was a lot of areas that I couldn't go to. Because I just... Whoa. That's inconvenient. Because uh, I just couldn't reach them, but now if levitate... Ho -ho. Oh, right. This is how we got down the first time, because I think there was no power. So there's not going to be anything going up. Christ, there's so many of them. It's terrifying. Get me out of here. Oh, hey. God, I wish I could kill them. Like, can I not still? Nah, you can just make them small. What is this? This leads to the furnace chamber place? I thought I had to break through a wall to get there. Or am I just mixing things up? I'm not sure if I'm mixing things up or not. I'm getting confused. Remember that mold room that I had to abandon because I just couldn't do it? Am I confusing that with the direction, the pathway that goes to the furnace? I thought it was the furnace, and that was where it was. Okay, that goes to the furnace. if there's something I can grab, such as a TV. <sighs> so yeah, does this lead to the fungus stuff, or am I just totally remembering wrong? Apparently, I haven't been here. Hidden location. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a TV in here. Being so close to the furnace, it just felt right.
Like, where the heck does this go? I haven't been over here either. I mean, I've been, like, I walked along there, but not up here. Certainly never went over here. Darling, dimensional staffing. I first read that as dimensional surfing. <laughs> dimensional research is going to change everything. The work we do there will be brilliant, dangerous, and revolutionary. So we'll need staff that meet the challenge. So far, I'm considering Carlo Vaughn, Lorenzo Dunn, Hubert Tan, Edna Pierce, either Beth Harrington or Abe Lewis if their departments can spare them for a bit. Emily is an obvious choice, but who knows what will come out of the doorways we open. Perhaps it's better to keep her somewhere where the work is less unpredictable. But she won't like that. And there's no way she won't notice a secret new research department. She's too sharp. What are you doing down there? Chill. Sorry, generator. You're fine. Right. That's sealed. Wow. Boop. <laughs> Boop it just laid on my desk and laid like straight on my mouse. Yeah, there we go. I got enough mouse cord to move it a little bit. Ah, this is the place I was thinking of. Wait, yeah, isn't this the place I was thinking of? Oh, 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 I see why I was confused. Uh, yes, but we're below the level that went to the furnace chamber. That was the upper part. This is below. They can't be accessed through the room itself. I see why I was so confused. It was the right place on the map, sort of, just not the right level. Just those two. Still no more TVs.
Can I just keep going up? My God. So beautiful. There's so much up here. What is all this? Oh. Okay, didn't know you were there. That was terrifying. I could ride those across if I wanted to. I don't think there's any need to, though. I don't know why I'm continuing to shoot it. That obviously will do nothing. I don't know, should we just try to work our way down? Like, let's go as far- let's see how far up we can go, and then we can surveil everything from there. Dear God, we can go really far up. I sure wish I could see, though. Everything's kind of bloody. <sighs> like little expedition camps. Probably a limit here, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Mm hmm. It's, this isn't even on the map. There's a control point over there? Quest, I guess. I think it's a control point, though. having fun. How do I get there? But, yeah, not surprisingly, there wasn't room. I don't know why I'm continuing to try this. It obviously won't work. I see a crack in the wall, although it looks minor. I don't think I'm going to be busting through that. Is there some sort of way in from below? Like, it really doesn't look like it. It just doesn't look like there's a way in at all. I don't get that one. Well, forget it for now. Every time I see these camps, I'm like, oh, something over here. But not really. Haven't found any notes at any of them.
<laughs> Gabe isn't sure if I'm actually in combat or not. And that's the area we've already been, so time to head further down. Time to glide further down. What just happened to the ground? Is that what happens when you fall into it? Okay, that looks really cool. I don't, I don't know why two objects coming out of a box did that, though. Take me in. Please don't kill me. Thank God. I think that's about it for the stuff that I wasn't able to access before. I think I was able to get this high. There's really no need for me to be involved in this fight. I think that's it for the Black Rock Quarry. Although it shows an elevator. An elevator over here on the map, leading to question marks. What is that elevator? Oh, it's this one. That huge one that can't open right now. That must be related to a quest or something. Oh, so they are fighting with those balls of energy. I guess those balls of energy are some sort of black rock creature. So of course the hiss would hate it. Oh yeah, I wasn't able to get here before. Let's get out of here. What's going on in here? Sorry, I just ran into this corner and there's stuff in here. Quarry worker incident. Linda. I saw David last night. I was working late in the quarry when he stumbled out from behind some black rock. Looked like hell. I called up to medical right away. He was half starved. He's been missing for two weeks. So I guess it's not a surprise. While I was waiting for someone to come help, he kept telling me about some carvings. Something about an ancient tree. I couldn't really understand him. When the medics came, they brought security. They grabbed David and hauled him off. They interrogated me for a couple hours about what David had told me. Anyway, I hope you're on the next shift, so I thought I'd leave this for you. He was your husband. You have a right to know. The way security was acting, well, I don't know if we're going to see David again. I'm so sorry, Linda. Burn this after you read it. Let's go talk to Arish. They're in there. We go around that way. Now. Here are the pouches. I found six. Well, that's all of them. Counting mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but... Well, it's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? Too late now. Now, the story's confidential, but, uh... Well, I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So, uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of a werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. 
Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm it was bullshit. Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? Turns out, there was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh, man, we nearly bit it that night. Well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. So why did you leave the rangers? I thought I could do more good here. Somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. You say that every time. I know you're busy. I don't think you're lazy. Got seven ability points. I really want to get this, like, ground pound thing. Ground slam. Let's just go for it. Go for something fun. That leaves us with two. Oh, it's just one point to upgrade the ground slam damage. And two for more levitation duration. Hmm. I really... I feel bad that I don't care about it, but I really don't care about C's. I just don't find it interesting. Nor shield, really. Although this shield rush thing does sound interesting, but not enough for me to bother upgrading an ability I don't really care about to get it. Or as levitate, uh, levitate, I do care about. Yeah, let's get more levitation and duration. Man, I still haven't received one more remote thought to be able to upgrade Pierce. Let's go try out this ground slam. No. Oh. I assumed it would only slam directly beneath you. But no, I think it slams in the direction you're aiming. Damn. And does it use all of your energy? Yeah. Okay, we gotta try this on enemies. Perfect. Uh, I think I missed him. Oh, it even shows you where the attack is gonna take effect. Damn, okay. Nope. I mean, it's no surprise it kills them in one hit. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, it even kind of locks onto targets. It locks onto targets in a similar way to throwing objects, I think. Doesn't work so well in closed environments, of course. glad I got that. I don't know how effective it is compared to using other attacks exactly, but it's damn fun. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. When I return, well, I think we're done with executive and maintenance, yeah. As far as going over old places to see if I can get to areas that I couldn't before. So, after that, I think it's time to move on to research.